This week, we're going to be covering the 112th lead code question path sum. This is an easy level question that companies like Amazon or Facebook like to ask in preparation for the medium or hard question that you're going to be receiving very soon in a 45 minute interview setting. So it's definitely a good thing to look out for. Let's get started by reading the problem statement. Given a binary tree and a sum, determine if the root has a root to leaf path such that adding all the values along the path equals the sum. So here's an example. We're given the binary tree and we're given a sum and the sum is equal to 22. We can see from this image right here that there is a path from the root to a specific leaf node that contains the sum of 22. So if we just add up 5 plus 4, which is 9, plus 11, 20, and then 2, which is 22. So there is one path from the root to one of the leaf nodes that sums up to 22. In order to understand the algorithm, we're going to want to look at the three base cases that can occur when we're given this root and sum. So the root can be empty, the root can only have one node, or it can have n nodes in the binary tree. So these are the three cases that we will want to kind of understand and branch out from so that we can come up with a clear and concise algorithm. If the root is empty, then we don't really care about the sum at all, because it doesn't really matter what the sum is. If the root is empty, then we just want to return false. Even if the sum was zero, the root does not exist, so there is no path from root to a leaf node that can get the value of 0 or 5 or any other number. So if the root is empty, we just want to return false. Suppose that the root is not empty and there's one node. So we know that we want to get a path from the root to the leaf nodes. So this would be the second base case that comes up. It is if the root is also a leaf node. So if the root is a leaf node, confirm that it is a leaf node by checking the left and the right subtrees, making sure that they are both empty. And the last thing we're going to do is check that the root's value minus the uh, current value in the sum, or I guess the other way around, we want to subtract the sum from the root, and we want to check if this is equal to zero. That means that we are at a leaf node, and it is from the root, and it is equal to zero, so we actually want to return true. And the third case, which is of course the recursive case, is going to be when we have a specific value, or say we have a root, and we know that the left is not empty and the right is also not empty. Or it may or may not be empty, we don't really know. Then what we want to do is pass in, we have sum 8 here, we want to pass in the value of sum minus the value in the root. So this case is 3. And we want to pass in that value 3 as the new sum to our left and right subtrees. When that is checked, then we are just going to fall back to the other two base cases, which is, of course, if it is a leaf node or if it is not a leaf node, then we just follow this case. So if this is a little bit unclear, we have three base cases, and I do explain it more in depth inside of the coding section, so you can jump to that and find out the exact solution. So now we're going to jump to the time and space complexity. I think it is pretty straightforward because we know that when we are traversing from a root to a leaf node, we have to traverse possibly all the nodes in the binary tree. In that case, we're going to be given a time complexity of O of n. Because this is going to be recursive, and we're going to call these functions recursively, we know that in the worst case, the space is going to take up to O of n space, the stack gets incremented uh, by 1 if we are making recursive calls, and in the worst case, the binary tree is just going to be, you know, 
not balanced. Now that we understand the algorithm and the big O time complexity, let's take a look at the code. So starting off, we just want to return false if there's no root. Otherwise, we can just decrement the sum by the value that exists in the root. If the root is a leaf node, which we can get by checking that the left and the right are both none, and the sum is equal to zero, then we can return true. Otherwise, all we want to do is recurse on the left and right subtrees, passing in the updated sum. Let's just submit and make sure that it does. As always, the time that it takes to finish this problem is a lot slower than the fastest time that I get by myself, which is kind of weird. Uh, yeah, so I did this about an hour ago and I got 28 milliseconds and now it's showing me 36. Have no idea what's going on there. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more in the future. I tend to post weekly on Mondays. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.